sense, the, uh, in the in the sense of Yehudi Menuhin, that we need more ethics in, in even in the society, and the arts can create an ethic standard even in a company. Uh, that is the main goal, and uh, we need more tolerance, <coughs> more respect in companies. You all have heard about the Volkswagen scandal, uh, that, that such an international big box can, can be, be really uh, uh, irritating with, with such a result. That is, for me, a, a sign that we need not only to be in our cloud, of well-being yeah. uh, for the children. We, we know the tools how to open, to create, to create more, more um, emotional intelligence, I would say, into the business world. Yes, in the line of uh, a brand of social re re responsibility yeah. and citizenship, of the great, great yeah. uh, enterprises. Uh, not, not only, because it's not only the CSR <laughs> part of it, it's not only the corporate social responsibility, but it's also a, um, a very practical and tangible tool for companies for development programs. All companies have uh, programmed of uh, professional development. Uh, pre yeah. professional development. That's why I, I, I I suppose that the main objective is in that way. Yes. Yeah, I, but I, it goes along. Yeah. That's why I said that it's a win-win-win situation, that there are several aspects that go together very well and can, can, can provide benefit for the stakeholders from lots of points of view. From the CSR point of view, for the artists, for the music program in general or locally, it can bring also some funding, but it's an educational, professional training program. But I, I, I've done a, a few workshops in the past for the, this kind of uh, situation. Um, in my experience, <coughs> what the impression I get, I mean, I, I think it's, it, it's fantastic objective to, to be able to introduce this kind of ethical, conscious, social responsibility within this line of work. But from my experience, I get my feeling that the goal of the calling on the artists to be there is to enable their their focus is is on making money on, yes. on financial profit. Yeah. It's not that you know they could they could I, I, I would I would feel a bit um, kind of it, they can it's quite easy to kind of say you know to everybody, oh yes we, we want to do it for yeah. for social responsibility. But in reality, in their minds, if, you can, you know, if we can get these guys to work better together, yes. yeah, then yeah. we're going to make more money. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, if I go to pretend, yeah. Yeah. I go to pretend that, that they're um, getting involved in this kind of thing is your, your, you are Therefore, enabling them to be able to, you know, get their, they, they wouldn't do it otherwise you know, in reality, would they? That's what, they, that's what they're looking for. Uh, I, that is I, why I, I brought this uh, question. Yeah. But on the other hand, without their money, we cannot finance Musa in the schools. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I understand the dilemma. I, I just, I just, I, I think it would be. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's very difficult. I don't want to yeah, say uh, I think that I understand perfectly why this. Uh, Problem is presented this way. I think that I understand very well why this problem is presented the way it is with uh, well noble aims. Uh, I don't have a problem with a, pro a problem like this one to get funds, not at all. Uh, I'm not going to discuss if all bankers are criminals or not. What I know, I think I know, is that they don't care a bit about ethicals and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe one or two of them, exceptions, exist. Okay, I'm sorry. 
but uh, the majority know, and the, uh, in our days they are very clear about it, at least in Portugal. Uh, so uh, I have nothing against this. I think that you should use it to get funds to important things. And uh, uh, but uh, uh, well, I don't believe they are going to become more ethical or more with more uh, with a sense uh, of uh, social responsibility in our days. Right? All these things are nothing for them. But as I said. Sometimes in Portugal, we, we are supported by big enterprises when we are not asking them, uh, how are you, are you very concerned with the thing we, we are. So I think it's a good idea to get money. No, for, we, we don't have all these answers, but that will maybe, if, it, if, if we can do it like we plan it, we get very good results for the future. And for this fourth pillar of this Musa Academy. Uh, and I just don't the, using the name use for me. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, it will not for me it's uh, it no, hurts a lot. Uh, to make it clear, this is not to call it Muse. I think but Muse, Muse is me. Yeah. Muse is a title, is a brand for the schools. But we use Muse Metolo. Which experience and on user experience, yeah. That and and uh, and we no use the Musa network, the artists. We only asked artists from the Musa network. That's right. So, but it will never co be called Musa. So, uh, so long as co-founder, I I cannot uh, underwrite this. Also, other activities which are not really concentrated in the in the core product the, to bring the arts into the school uh, and in the entire class, not not uh, in the in the afternoon activities or uh, activity. All these things have to get another name. They can use Muse. As, a, as an idea, as an experience. Now, yeah. So, um, Tony, what did you say? Just yes, one thing. Sorry. Um, I, I, I kind of disagree because I come from General Motors, from EV6, so I was in the other side of the world uh, not very long time ago. I think we are, this type of projects are directed to people. Well, people are working sometimes here, sometimes there. The person is a person. Um, I don't think that I was a better. I'm not a better person for being right now at the Yehudi Menachem Foundation no, than I was at that was time. Not that what I was. <laughs> As a manager too. Uh, um, uh, on the other hand, those companies are very strong on coaching, and I think uh, coaching and Muslim methodology are to some extent related. I think there is a lot of Muslim that can improve the quality of coaching on big multinationals. I think big multinationals are made of people who are at risk of exclusion too. <laughs> so to some extent, why not? And uh, I totally agree that uh, this type of project is extremely interesting. I don't know if we are going to reach what we all want to reach, but if we don't try, we will never know the results of it. Yeah. Finally, finally, um, it would be for us as Muse, as Fime, very, very important to know which are the multinationals taking part on, on this project because it will help us uh, to find Spanish multinationals interested. It's not the same going to, I tried these last <coughs> weeks yeah. to get in contact with Spanish banks and Spanish big multinationals for example, those I was working with, mm -hmm. but they usually need to know who is going uh, in order to decide if they are going to. <coughs> it's stupid, but it's how it works. But once you have to start somehow. <laughs> so that's why, I mean, maybe if you have already some information yeah. about some companies, it would help me to, to, to 
sell this product in, in Spain during the next next weeks? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry. No, uh, I know that marvelous people work uh, in these kind of enterprises, big banks. That's not the point. That was not my point. Marvelous people, but uh, when they are in that system, they are working for a name that is only to make money without caring for ethical principles. In Portugal, without caring for ethical principles. Uh, and, then, uh, and then people, no, okay. Uh, then I don't know Portugal. I just wanted to reflect that, and most probably I have a very similar uh, reflection that you gave. Uh, and it's also a reflection to what you said there, also what you said, Pedro and Antonio, that. Um, uh, I can say that I've been lucky in the last eight years that I, I've started to work for the corporate world and do professional trainings for them. That's, that's what I do for a living. I don't use arts in, in those trainings. I do professional training courses. And what I've realized is that um, they just want to show that they spend some money on it and then it's over. And uh, we, we tickle the, the thing, the two boxes, and it's fine, it's done. Uh, there are some who really care. There are some who don't care, but in the meantime, or during the process, they realize that it's meaningful. Mm -hmm. And I completely agree that they do for profit. Mm -hmm. Because they want to reach uh, the, the better efficiency. But from my point of view, uh, profit making or, or making something is not evil. Yeah. It's no, a, it's a great thing. Okay, it's a great sorry. And, just a sentence. It's a, a great thing uh, when linked yeah. with social yeah. responsibility. Exactly. And, and this is the last thing I wanted to add here. That if not we, who, are, who go there and try to sensibilize them or make them aware of these things, who else is going to do that? Mm -hmm. So if we don't take action or we are not... No, uh, I think it's a good yeah, idea. I said, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said Look, uh, they now all of them, these big enterprises, have their, um, how do they say, uh, ecologists. Yeah. They are all worried with ecology. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> are they? No, of course, but okay, let's. Yeah. Okay. At, at, at least we can, we, we know now that, that we have. Uh, we know now mm -hmm. that we um, we have artists in our network who are very active in this field, mm -hmm. and why not collect them and introduce mm -hmm. them to the to the entire project? You wanted to say something. Yeah, well, I can give you uh, well, my point of view from my knowledge in Israel. Many companies in, in Israel uh, have uh, like. A, uh, social department, uh, let's say, that they are thinking uh, how how to help help the community. Uh, there is a special day in Israel. It's called the the good day, uh, the uh, uh, action. Action, action, action action day, and every company send have, have uh, and send their workers uh, to uh, to. Schools to kindergartens to social uh, places and, and they have to, to work with the kids or other um, person that needs help and uh, um, we we are working with uh, many companies and they, we <laughs> for example we have volunteers from banks and companies that Most are of our donation yeah. from banks. And that are coming to, to our schools, our centers, and they they even teach the the, the kids, uh, they stay with them, they help with the homework, and uh, they give them their experience. So I don't see uh, you know to, to look just uh, just on the the company and say yeah, you want just money. Because in this company there are people that work and uh, they are like us and. Uh, uh, they have children, and uh, they, they, their children uh, can can be in this school or in that school. And uh, uh, there is a, um, there is a, a social responsibility. Uh, uh, I, I don't think it, it is something bad uh, to, to 
I don't know how it is in Europe, but to try to to make this kind of interest with uh, uh, and again not just to ask them for money, but uh, even if if you if they have all this, if so they can be they can involved teach. involved like uh, uh, volunteers, people from the company that come to let's say news uh, se sessions and be uh, help like volunteers. After that, they, they might give us some money for the. Yeah, yeah, we will see. I think uh, to conclude, um, we, it's for us a test. Maybe yeah. we fail because yeah. the time is very short. Uh, but I am optimistic. I am coming from a region in Germany <laughs> like Linda, where we are always optimistic. <laughs> and <laughs> and, um, and we will give you uh, the results and how we can develop this idea later on. Thank you very much for. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um,